The scope of this video is to basically introduce the idea of a derivative, um, what it is, what it means, and also just to prove it uh, as we know it. So, well, we have a, a variable we call x, right? And x can take on a number of values, any number of values. And what it does is it affects another, another thing that we're measuring, which we're going to call y, right? So basically, in this case, x is independent. x is the thing that exists regardless of anything else. Now, y is the result of x. In other words, it's, the, it's dependent on x. And what a derivative basically is, is it is a measure of the change in y over the change in x. And you might have seen this in algebra or um, any other class where this is defined as the slope. Well, that, that's basically what the derivative is. So it's, it's basically a change in the dependent variable or the function of x uh, as x changes, right? As the independent variable changes. As it goes up, what happens to the function? So let's take a look at this, this uh, picture here. I have a little picture. And if I have a function, we'll just call this function f of x, right? This guy is, is a function of x. And actually, this 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 axis here is a measure of that function, right? It's how high is the function at, at any given time. So we'll look at a couple points on here. Let's say we have this guy right here, right? And that'll be my first x. I'll call that x1, right? And over here, I will have another point, right? And I'm going to call that x2, right? Well, notice that at x1, x1 has this kind of this height right here and I'll call that f of x1 okay and at x2 it's kinda of got this height over here right and I'll call that f of x2 okay so how much did x change well well x went from let me pick a good color here x went from this x over to this x and that distance we'll call We'll just call that H, right? We'll call that H. Some sometimes you might be seen written as H, and in, in in some other books will be written as a change in X. We're gonna call it H just to differentiate it from X. Hopefully, not make it too confusing. So that's good. That's that's H. Well, question arises: How much did this this change? What's this change right here? Uh, actually, I should pick a more vibrant color here. Um, what's this change? Okay, the distance between those. Okay, so that's the change in F. And we are going to compare this change in f to this h. And that's basically what it is. That's change in y over change in x. So let's do that. The thing that we should notice here is that this x2 is really, is really x1, right? Plus some amount we'll call h. And this f of x2 right here is really f of x1 plus some amount of h. Okay, and so what we're really going to do is we're going to say, okay, well, what is this derivative? It's the change in y, which is f of x1 plus h, take away the original f of x1, right? And we're going to divide that by how much it changed, how much the x variables changed, okay? So this is, this is the change in y, right? This right here is the change in y, y2, y2 minus y1, and this over here is the change in x. And you can say, okay, well, this is x1 plus h minus x1, but this is what it comes down to. And the whole idea of a derivative is, well, this whole thing right here, what happens when h is really tiny, right? So when h is almost zero, so we're going to take the limit as h approaches zero of this guy right here, and we'll start with that in the next video.